Greetings, people of the internet. I am Arking3000, and this is my custom spider ham figure. I was a little late to um, uh, picking up the spider ham figure from the Venom Wave of Marvel Legends, so I decided just to make my own, and honestly, I kind of like this better than the official one. Um, for starters, um, it has actual leg articulation in the hips and the knees. Um, honestly, the articulation articulation in the hips are are not that great since I used a um, uh, Equestria Girls minifigure for the base, but yeah, it's better than what Hasbro actually gave us. So, uh, eh. Since um, uh, Spider Ham never had a consistent design over the years, so. Uh, so, I just took some artistic liberties, like, um, I just made a spider ham, made a spider ham, nothing to it. Um, the base figure was actually from a custom X-23 custom that I was, I was in the process of making, but never finished because I just really wasn't liking how it was turning out, and so, I just used... You salvage whatever I had from that custom to make my spider ham figure. Um, basically, originally it started out as Flash Century. I extended the legs so it would be more like X23. And uh, so when I decide, decided to make him, I actually did the opposite and short shortened the leg, shortened the legs so he would be more be shorter next to other Marvel Legends. And I also shortened his um, uh, forearms just so I don't know be, be more in scale um, the hands came from Sonic figures more specifically this hand came from shadow I think and the up uh, and the web flipping hand came from a blaze the cat which I modified to have to have the web swing web of my web shooting hand yeah um, which was probably the hardest part of this whole custom maybe I don't know um, the head is a vinyl scratch. You can you can probably tell because of the goggles on the side of the sun, the eyepieces that originally used to be in my vinyl scratches glasses. No, can't talk right now. Um, and basically everything else was sculpted sculpted on. I sculpted over the seams where the cuts were. Um, sculpted on the belly. The belly of the pig, the curly tail, the ears were pretty sim simple yet effective. I just put a bit of extra pop of milliput on top and just bent them over to look like the pig pig ears and the snout, and also around the gla glasses to make it look more like the head is one solid piece and not just a bunch of scratch marks from the where the glasses were. Yeah, and all that. And after all that, it was just a matter of painting it. Um, I did not include a webbing design because one, I'm not really good good at painting something that tiny and that so much, and I just didn't really want to because that would just would have been a pain. And it also kind of creates a um, uh, cartoonish look. And on the back, I instead of a spider, I painted on. I painted on a pig symbol rather than a spider symbol just to show, you know, he's a pig, so why the hey? Why the hey not? And now here is a size comparison next to a standard Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Um in some ways I think I made Spider-Ham a little too tall, but like I said. But like I said, Spider-Ham never had a consistent design over the years, so height is pretty much up. Height is pretty much up to interpretation. And for the heck of it, here is another cartoonish in my comparison: Lego Spider-Man. And that is about it. If you like this custom and this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you wish to see more content from me, and be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thank you all for watching. Spider Pig, Spider Pig, does whatever a Spider Pig does. 
Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out. He is a spider pig.